Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Leslie Wong. I'm from Central University. And today I my topic would be utilizing JSX graph to implement John Conway's game of life. Um, so let's kick off. So first thing first thing first, uh, for those who haven't been familiar with game of life, here is the explanation. And the gain of right is a cellular automation model devised by the mathematician John Hongkong Conway from Cambridge University at the time. And it came to become well known for the article published at Scientific American in 1970. And the use of the gain of right is as follows. Uh, the universe of the gain of right is an infinite two-dimensional um, also called grid of square cells, each of which is in one of two possible states, alive and dead, or populated and unpopulated, respective. Every cell interacts with its eight neighbors, which are the cells that are horizontally, vertically, or diagonally adjacent. At each step in time, the following transitions occur. And one, for a box with a live cell, there existing fewer than two life neighbors, the cell dies due to isolation. And there existing more than three life neighbors, the cell dies due to overcrowding. And there existing two or three life neighbors, the cell lives on to the next generation. And two, for an empty box or a box with a dead cell, there existing three life neighbors, the box generates a new life cell as if by reproduction. So following these four simple rules, the gain of right will generate very beautiful patterns when in evolution. And that is the key reason why it attracts so many people uh, after long so many years. And but however, when I want to search some implementation of gain of right at Google, yeah, specifically at Google Images, I sadly am not able to spot an elegant and appealing implementation of it. And uh, from the result, uh, most of them just use vanilla square box to represent cells. And the color preppies of them are always black and white. So I for, from my own perspective of taste, that's not that great and some, somehow bad user experience uh, as a pattern. And so this motivated me a, a, a bit. And and then I came across this as graph by chance when searching something related to JavaScript animation library. And uh, when I know this, uh, this library, I i am quite upset with its fabulous U UI, uh, particularly the red point element. Yes, I think it's really nice to represent cells. Then when I know the JSS graph better, I am quite overwhelmed by its detailed documentation and, exam and examples. So, so, and then I think I can base on the JSS graph to implement my own gain of right project. So that's the, you know, the motivation I do. So after some time, I make it. Okay, this is the final result of my implementation. And this is the domain of it. And you can see the snaps of it below. And as you can see, the layout is quite peaceful. Uh, yeah, compared with others. <laughs> and it has considerate interactivities. I, actually, you can create a ball to create a cell and create it again to destroy the cell. And also, and you can create the pattern button below and to select certain patterns from uh, from the, yes, the famous the, the gain of right lexicon. Actually, you can experiment with over 700 um, patterns within this, this site. And you can start it start it, pause it, and continue. Also reset and change the rate. And, and by the way, there are two language versions available. 
English and Chinese. Uh, sorry, I haven't provided the German option. <laughs> And, uh, and it's open source uh, behalf. I am um, okay. Anyway, uh, that is very cool, I think. Um, so the following is the animation illustration of uh, the famous gospel greeter gum devised by the uh, NIT professor. Um, maybe we can directly go to the, the site and, and interact with it. Okay, this is the site. And she can create and destroy it. All right? And do some button. Yes, I just provide a random options. So can you can experiment with some pattern from the famous data paralysis. Uh, this is not working. Okay, it's working. Start. Uh, accident? Probably. All right, change the read. Yes, it's ready. All right, let let me go back to the slide. So, okay, mm, they are they also provided the behind learning and the YouTube video. Yeah. And so now let me turn to the technical part. How I develop this project, uh, this project. And actually, the architecture of my project can be divided into two parts, the logic part and the UI part. So for logic part, and first we have the initial matrix uh, generated by the selected pattern or the quick event of the users. So when we start, we copy the initial matrix to a Chrome matrix, and then we update the Chrome matrix based on the initial matrix following the rules of the gain of life. And then we get the updated Chrome matrix. We update it back to the to the initial matrix semantically, the next generation matrix, and then we copy it again to the Chrome matrix and we do the whole process as a loop. So and and for the UI part, we plot the, the initial matrix when it is generated and also to the JSS graph matrix board and also we brought the next generation matrix when it is generated as well as update the statistic information of the cell in photo uh, the evolution and something like that and also the user can trigger the reset and post event during the, the loop Right, that's quite high level. And now let's dig in the, the specific um, JSX graph code I use within this project. So this snippet is used to create a desired blank JSX graph matrix board. And as you can see here, the size of the board is uh, actually it's 40 one by 31 yes <laughs> and appending and zooming are not allowed for this use case and, and other and other configurations all right so that's it and the following is the the code to update the jsx matrix board uh, uh, first you i suspend the update and then and update the every single point of the, the matrix board uh, to create and uh, or destroy the point. So based on the calculation result. And actually there's some uh, uh, drawback here because the big O of this uh, this operator this uh, the, this snippet is M squared so they may be not not that efficient but actually it was uh, at the at this website, and then after the update, we um, suspend the update and and plug it to the real DOM. All right, the next one, uh, it comes to the tooling. Yes, my tooling, <laughs> and also it divide is divided into two parts, the front end part and the back end part. And for the front end part, I use EJS to create a layout of the HTML template. 
and use Bootstrap to beautify it. And also jQuery to control some state event also to support the Bootstrap. And the most important one, the JSX graph uh, library. And the back end one, I use the server side JavaScript runtime, Node.js. Uh, yes. And the Express.js to, to host an uh, SDTP service and Kiloku for deployment. And also pro and uh, config a custom domain. And as for the MongoDB Atlas, actually I use it to the to provide an, an API so that user can retrieve certain pattern from the general fly lexicon. Yes, there are over 700 patterns available yeah, by this API. And oh, okay, so now uh, I want to demonstrate my thanks for Mr. Alfred Wasserman for providing this opportunity of a talk. And also, he, uh, when I was implementing this project, I yes, I got into trouble for a while because of I don't understand how to delete the created point when using the JSX graph. And so when you have trouble, you go to Stack Overflow, and Stack Overflow do help me to stop this problem. And here. And Mr. Alfred Wasserman did help me uh, yeah, solve this problem. And thanks. And also, I want to demonstrate my the chip deal to Mr. Conway, uh, John Conway, uh, who passed away earlier this year because of COVID 19. And uh, the, the, the picture is my chip deal tweet towards him. And all right, thanks for devising such a wonderful stealth automation board. And, all right, I think uh, this may this is the end of my presentation. Thanks for your attention.